In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can actually upload the images, listing images properly to a product having variations. Because this is one of the most common question for all of those people who were actually selling their products on Amazon having variation that they are not able to upload the images properly. Like they are confused, like if they have to upload the images to the parent listing or the child listing or they have to upload the same images to all of the variation child or different images. Because for example, if you're selling a product like a shoes having different colors and different size. So when someone will go on your listing to purchase a shoes, so they will be able to see many options like red color shoes, blue color or orange color shoes. And when they will click on orange color shoe, so they must be able to see the shoes with orange image, right? And when they click on the red shoe, so they must be able to see the red shoe image, not the orange, right? So here the complication arise. Like at the back end, where you have to put the images so customer can see the exact correct image when they select the correct variation, right? So if you're also having this kind of confusion with you, then no need to worry because in this short video, I'm going to show you everything. Like there are basically two ways to do this to upload the images for listing variation. And in this video, I'm going to show you both two ways one by one. So you can use any one of them and upload your listing images correctly to your product having variations. So as you can see that this is my one week sales and if I put the filter for past one year and click on apply so you can see that this is my one year sales. You can see that throughout the year I got consistent sales and my sales actually increased in December which was Christmas season. So around 150k was the revenue and the cool thing about this is that the PPC spend was very less for the lifetime. So basically I don't do any magic, I only use common sense and use some tips and tricks which I've already explained you in these videos. So if you also want to learn all of those tips, tricks and strategies, you can just go on my Amazon playlist on YouTube and learn all the tips for free just to get the revenue like this. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I'm on my laptop right now and from here I have opened my seller central and go to manage inventory tab. So here you can see that this is one of my product called bath bomb for kids and you can see that it is having three variation, one, two and three. For now, two variations are active because they are having a stock and one variation is out of stock. So for example, if I click on the parent of that listing, so on the Amazon website, I will be able to see something like this. Like this is a listing, parent listing. I can see the title, images, bullet point and all the other stuff which is compulsory for the listing to purchase, right? And if I go up, I can see there are two variations available for this product to purchase. So for example, if I'm a buyer and I want this variation, which is Pokemon Bath Bomb, so I will click there and purchase. But if I want second variation, so I need to click on that one. So I will be able to see the images, title and bullet point of the second variation, which is Superhero Bath Bomb, right? So right now here are two variations, Pokemon Bath Bomb and Superhero Bath Bomb. So when I click on Pokemon, I can see the Pokemon image. And when I hover on Superhero, so I will be able to see the Superhero image, right? You can see that one, two, one, two. Two. So that means if I go back on manage inventory, I can see here, these are three listings and fourth one is parent. So this is a parent ASIN, this is a superhero ASIN and this is the Pokemon ASIN. So what I have to do is, I have to get all the images ready for each variation and I have to upload the correct images to each variation one by one separately. So they will be show on the listing something like this. Like whenever customer hover on that variation, so they will be able to see this image and whenever customer go on that variation, so they will be able to see that image, right? So there are two methods. Number one is manual method by editing the listing and number two is bulk image upload. So if we go for the method number one, so for that simply you have to go and manage inventory and check out that listing. For example, I want to change the image for that listing. So on the right side, after opening that variation tree, just like this, if I click on that variation, so under parent, I will be able to see these three variation. So on that variation on the right side, I have to click on edit. And then from here, I have to click on this image section. And then from here, if I go down, I can just delete, select or upload any of the image which I want Amazon to show on that listing, right? And I have to do the same for the second variation as well. And if in your case, you are having too many variation like 10, 20 or maybe 50 variation. So all you have to do is you have to go to the parent listing and on the right side, you have to click on this edit button on the parent listing. So by doing that, you will be able to see something like this. And if you click on the variation on the parent edit listing, and then if you scroll down, so you will be able to see all of the variation name, variation SKU, variation UPC, ASIN and variation image. So if you do so, so it will be super super easy for you to understand or analyze or sort out all of the multiple variation. Like for example, if you want to add the image for the black color shoe small size, so you have to find the black color shoe small size here and then from the right side against that UPC or ASIN, you have to click on edit button. So when you click on that particular edit button, so you don't have to find out the listing variation in the manage inventory section. So you don't have to find out that listing variation in the manage inventory section. 
instead of that from here if you find that color or size variation simply you have to click on edit and then you can edit your images from here so that was the method number two but I have seen that this method doesn't work all the time. Like 80% of the time, sellers are able to change their images by this way. But if in your case, if this way is not working, then a second way is you have to go again back on Amazon Seller Central, zoom out and from the top left corner, you have to click on this bar menu, right? So after opening that menu, you have to go on catalog and then you have to go on this upload images button. Right? So when you click on that, so you will be able to see this page which says upload images and bulk image upload. So basically what bulk image upload is, in this method you have to create a folder in your laptop and you have to name your folder as your product name. And under that folder, you have to put all of the images which you want to upload on that particular variation. And then you have to make a RAR file for that folder and upload that folder here and click on submit images. And one thing you have to make sure is when you are putting all of your images under your folder, you must have to rename your images as the child is son, right? So for example, if I go and I'm going to sell a central again, manage inventory. And then if I go down, so for example, if I want to change the image for this variation, so I need to copy that ASN and under that folder, I have to rename all of the images with that ASN, like that ASN.1, that ASN.2, that ASN.3 and the image which I want to make main image, I need to rename that main dot that ASN dot main, right? So after renaming all of the images, you need to create the RAR file and upload that RAR file here and click on submit images, right? And if you find any difficulty in that process, so you can actually read these four steps. You can see that the step number one is image file must be named as ASIN plus variation code plus file extension. For example, ASIN.main.jpg, right? And then for other images, ASIN.1.jpg, ASIN.2.jpg. So if you put all of the files in that folder and make the RAR file of that folder, just like this zip file. And then if you click on there, so you will be able to upload that file here. And when you click on the submit images, then after 15 to 20 minutes, you will be able to see your images should be uploaded on your listing. And when you go on your listing, select that particular variation. So you will be able to see all of your images uploaded successfully, right? So I hope at this point you have complete knowledge about two possible methods to upload images to a listing variation. So right after watching this video, go there, upload your images. And still, if you find any issue, you can just go on YouTube, and you can search Amazon listing images bulk upload. So you can see this video of mine in blue thumbnail. So if you watch that video, so in that video, you can see step by step process, like how to rename the files, how to create the folder and how to upload that zip file to update your images error free. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.